Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is my tutorial on how to use the sampler in Cakewalk Next, part two. In part one, I imported a sample, changed the trigger type, trimmed the sample, and used the amp envelope controls. So next up, we have the mix section. Gain sets the sample volume. Press on the gain knob and drag up to increase the sample volume. Or drag down to reduce the sample volume. Pan moves the position of the sample in the stereo mix. Press on the pan knob and drag up to move the sample towards the right speaker. Or drag down to move the sample towards the left speaker. Audio type changes the sampler processing to suit the type of sample. Click on the drop list, then click on drums if your sample is a beat. Click on vocals if your sample is a vocal sample. Or click on music for everything else. The mono toggle turns on or off mono mode. Mono mode only allows one keynote to be pressed at a time. Shift changes the pitch of the sample in semitones. Press on the shift knob and drag up to make the sample pitch higher. or drag down to make the sample pitch lower. Fine tunes the pitch of the sample in sense. Press on the fine knob and drag up to detune the sample pitch higher. or drag down to detune the sample pitch lower. Drag the fine knob all the way up or all the way down to detune by half a semitone. Filter type sets whether a pass filter is added to the sample. Click on the drop list. Then click on none for no pass filter. Click on the drop list. Then click on low pass to add a low pass filter. With the low pass filter selected, the cutoff knob removes high frequencies. Press on the cutoff knob and drag down to remove more high frequencies. Click on the drop list. 
Then click on High Pass to add a High Pass filter. With the High Pass filter selected, the cutoff knob removes low frequencies. Press on the cutoff knob and drag up to remove more low frequencies. Click on the drop list and click on band pass to add a band pass filter. With the band pass filter selected, the cutoff knob removes high and low frequencies that are above and below the sound frequency set by the cutoff knob. Press on the cutoff knob and drag down to set the cutoff sound frequency lower. or drag up to set the cutoff sound frequency higher. The Rezo knob increases the volume of the cutoff sound frequency, so acts a bit like a tone control. Press on the Rezo knob and drag up to increase the cutoff frequency volume. Stretch mode sets how the sample is stretched. Click on the drop list and click on None. The sample can now be played across the whole keynote range. The lower the note, the slower the sample will play, and the higher the note, the quicker the sample will play. Click on the drop list and click on Original. The sample can now only be played up to one octave higher or lower. The sample will be stretched so the sample plays at the same speed for all notes. Click on the drop list and click on two bars. The sample can now only be played up to one octave higher or lower. The sample will be stretched so the sample plays two bars long for all notes. Next, click on the Edit menu. Click on Normalize Sample to set the sample to the normalized volume level. Click on Reverse Sample to set the sample to play backwards.
click on Trim Silence, then click on a noise level. If you click on Normal, the start and end of the sample that is a lower volume than minus 36 dB will be removed. Click on Reset All Parameters to reset the controls of the sampler back to the factory settings. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers!